we hope that this will not be the case and that um, the center left that I represent uh, will have a majority. In any case, I think we will uh, be the pillar of a possible coalition in our country. We have a, a certain expertise in flexibility in politics in my country. Uh, so I think that what is clear is, one, that uh, the populist anti-EU position will not prevail, and second, that Italy will keep its stability. You know, we had frequent changement in governments in my country, but if you look to fundamentals of our foreign policy, of our economy, we are a very, very stable country, and we will remain so. Given there's so much at stake, if the centre-right wins the coalition of Mr Berlusconi, but they need you to form a government, would you be willing to do that? Well, you know, uh, to this direct question, the answer is no. But the fact is that uh, the, co the centre-right coalition in Italy is a coalition among very different positions. So we have two parts of this coalition. One is a uh, conservative uh, party, and the other one, but the other two, are populist anti-EU parties. I think that this coalition uh, will not stay in place. If there is a form of coalition that would leave you in position as Prime Minister, would you be willing to take on that responsibility? Well, you know, this is something uh, not uh, for me to decide. It's something that, due to our electoral law, uh, will be decided, one, obviously, uh, by electoral results, because it, uh, elections are always uh, fundamental. Uh, you can't discuss a government before the elections with this kind of law. We have a mostly proportional law, and then after the election we will need and we will have a government. Our President of the Republic with, will evaluate the situation and decide what to do. Let me just be very clear on this, because I think it's very important. I'm not asking you to prejudge the Italian election outcome. You can't do that, and it wouldn't be right for you to do that. But what I do need to ask you is, is there any reason that you would be unwilling to serve if the outcome required you to remain in office, or indeed any coalition invited you to remain in office? Is there any reason that you would not accept that responsibility? Well, I am in good health, uh, <laughs> but... Um, my commitment was uh, 13 months ago to, uh, to try to bring the country uh, to the end of our legislature, uh, continuing reforms and addressing a couple of very serious crises on migration, on the banking system. Um, this was my commitment and the commitment ends with the elections. After the elections, we will see. OK. Well, I, I, I read that as a, no, I don't rule it out, but we will wait and see what the ultimate outcome is. And I, and I am very positive on the fact that you have good health and you have the stamina to continue leading. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.